Really a con themed VIP today. Yeah, mm -hmm. love it. Um, how many of you are from here? Like actually from here? Oh. Michigan or? Well, okay. Detroit. Yeah, it's a great follow up. Like, I mean, within an hour of here, how many people? Oh, interesting. How many of you are from the state of Michigan, though? Okay. Okay. I really like Michigan. Me too. Feels Canadian. I really do. I really had a great time on the last tour. We were in Detroit for a few days. Really had a great time. We found out about it the day after. You did? Um, yeah. Classic. Was, like, we were sitting in a cafe and I was like, oh, that was yesterday. That's obviously. Wait, didn't Detroit get canceled media. in the end? No, we, we went through with it. We yeah. went through with it. Yeah. I was just yeah. sick there. Yeah, we were all sick. Yeah, everybody was sick. It was, well, here, so. it was really stressful. This is great. Very different vibe. Um, also really like Grand Rapids. What a beautiful place. It was downtown earlier today. Adorable. Looked into staying in the night instead of getting on the bus. Thought to myself, I'd like to spend the day here. Sarah gets back to the venue. I'm like, how was the hotel? Because I just showered here and she said, oh my God, it's so nice. Nicest hotel of the tour. She's like, I'm looking into staying, but it's too complicated. There's no direct flights. And, and then she said the funniest thing. I don't know if you guys know this. I know some of you will, but she just got her driver's license. So she said, I called Stacy. That's her wife. She was like, if I was more confident, I'd rent a car and drive. <laughs> I feel like if I had someone in the car with me, like what if I said right now, like, no, 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 someone who knows what oh. they're doing. Um, <laughs> like if someone, if someone from the tour was like, I'll drive with you. I just feel like I am still like nervous to like drive. Like I could, a four hour drive seems like ambitious. Like what if, I don't know, I just started going through all the scenarios, you know? And I haven't done a ton of like highway freeway driving since the nineties. I just anyway. think it's funny because when we were about 22 years old, we hired our first manager. His name was Nick and he didn't have a driver's license and he got his license so he could basically come on tour and drive us around in like a, a van with a trailer. And I just think it's so funny now, like we trust him with our lives. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can, but you don't want to just get a car and drive? No, I have a lot more to live for now than oh, I did 20 years ago. I see, I see, okay. All right, well this song's kind of about that, I guess. It's like, um. Uh, I wrote it the same month, basically, as Call It Off, so they're very thematically similar. We probably shouldn't have put both on the record, but we were at that age where you cannot edit yourself. And um, But the song was sort of about that feeling where you have so much you want to tell somebody, but before you get the chance to tell them, they're like, I'm not into you. And so you have all these like unresolved <laughs> feelings. And you're like, but if you just heard me say this, you'd like me more. But I didn't even say that out loud. Instead, I wrote this song. And I feel like the most melodramatic part of the song is that I'm gonna write down all the things that I feel about you and then bury it, which I can't think of anything more emo. Anyway, exactly. You'll get there. Sometimes I think about why this music in particular, you write it, this is like thematically, I feel like this is really normal for the age that we were to write about these types of these types of things and then the sort of strategies of, and how to cope are very specific to that age now. Because um, when I think about writing a breakup song now, it just, I would never like, I, I wouldn't be able to capture what it would feel like to separate from Stacy now because it would just be too pragmatic. It would be like, I wrote down all the things um, in the will. You might remember we had to spend a fortune to get that and then um, and separating from you now would be so incredibly expensive and stressful. We have committed like 13 years and we have gone a lot of family vacations together with our families. So we just stay together. And, uh, and now we have a kid. So, I mean, honestly, just do whatever you want. Just don't tell me about it. And I don't know, like, do you think that song would resonate as deeply? <laughs> well, you got a lot of head nods, so it's a, it might be our next record. I'm just saying. Trial separation from Stacy, and then you guys can get back together. We, we very much love each other. I just mean, you sit, there's something so sweet to me about this idea of like meeting someone in your 20s and thinking like, oh, I love them so much. And I'm like, how much do you love them? Would you go sit with a uh, with an estate planner lawyer and uh, and talk through <laughs> to talk through all of your um, all your belongings and emotional needs? Is this the comedy set right now? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I'm trying it out for the cruise. <laughs> All right. We just recently went and uh, again to sort of update my will because of, because of having a child now. And at some point, Stacy looked at me and I'm like, 
I know we're meant to be together because she looked at me in the middle of the meeting and she just was like, we're never getting, we're never divorcing. This is, this is exhausting and way too complicated and expensive. Like just, we're staying together forever. And I was like, <laughs> so, it's like renew renewing our vows. <laughs> All right. You guys have been so lovely. Thank you for coming to VIP. It's such a fun little intimate hang and it's, something we look forward to doing every day and we appreciate the time and energy to come down early and the extra dollars and um yeah just thank you and we'll see you guys later on we'll play this one song that's not about divorce um, very happy right now in my life too just, just pragmatic that's all i feel it we're all we're getting that age Oh, and I'm feeling directionless, yes, that's to be expected I know that best thing creeps the morning And the day's lost, just sitting wondering I reply fast, all you need to see me All you need to save me Call up, and I'll be good on that fly I feel like a fool, so I'm gonna stop troubling you Buried in my yard, a letter to send you And if I forget, God forbid, die too soon Hope that you'll hear me, know that I wrote to you All you need to say to me All you need to say to me Is cold, and I'll be cruel on that fly Thank you guys for being here. Thanks so much.